Guys, you won't believe my price target for Bitcoin. Wait, so you are saying you are saying we can hit 600 or more dollars for Ethereum within the next one and a half month? Uh, within the next two weeks. Today for the Bitcoin price with DaVinci J15. Guys, get ready for this video. Watch it all the way through because we finally saw it. We finally saw Bitcoin breaking above this crazy 12,100 US dollar resistance. And right now we will be talking with DaVinci J15. What we are expecting here for Bitcoin right now. Is this already the end and Bitcoin will go down? Or will we see some further, further upwards momentum for Bitcoin according to DaVinci J15. We will be talking about all of that, about our price targets, our trading setups and also of course two altcoins. One of them is Ethereum and another one is one altcoin which you all know it didn't pop yet and it has a very high potential towards the upside. We will be talking about all of that guys. You cannot literally afford to miss out on any part of this video so make sure you watch it all the way through. You also scroll down and you smash up the like button for that video because you know the deal just a few hours ago i made a video it got already more than 5,000 likes and here we are with the next video so the more likes you give the higher the likelihood is that we are providing more content for you so scroll down smash up the like button press subscribe press the bell and press on all to make sure not to be missing out on the next video and with that being said i really want to come to the most important question of today da vinci j15 how are you doing today my man i'm doing great man uh, you know what Bitcoin's above 12,000 and uh, a lot of people are happy. I'm excited too, because you know, this means we're starting that, that run to 100K or more. Isn't it exciting, Chris? How are you doing over there in Thailand? I'm excited. I mean, maybe you saw me yesterday doing a video and then Bitcoin broke 12,000. I made immediately another video. So I am excited AF right now. Thank you so much for asking. And um, yeah, now I'm excited to talk with you about your insights, about your price targets and your predictions, because basically everyone is asking me left and right. Well, what is Da Vinci saying about that? So um, there we are. Thank you so much for taking your time. Um, let's pull up the charts and see uh, what is your take on the marketplace right now. Guys, I can already tell you, you will be certainly surprised about that. All right. Well, we always talk about the short term, but always forget, never forget the long term outlook for this. Uh, Bitcoin is going to well over 100K uh, and probably even more, especially if my hyperinflation thesis plays out. Um, it's going to do something absolutely spectacular, meaning that we'll probably see highs so high that it will be the last time we're going to see like major uh, a major high like that in Bitcoin, probably, if we go through hyperinflation, because everybody will just pile in. Right? And it'll just be absolutely insane. And so if we get those insane prices, man, it, that's it. it that, will, that will be the top blow off top that um, to end all blow off tops. But anyways, <clears throat> well, we haven't gotten there. So let's talk about it when we get there. Today, uh, we're just breaking through the $12,100 mark. Uh, you've mentioned it a few times in your videos, and I've mentioned it as well. That's where we want to break out. And um, there's an AB equals CD to the uh, approximately $12,700 level. Uh, should we uh, see any kind of, uh, uh, of turnaround or, or, or resistance up here that, that the market can't really go past that? I would be careful of this thing coming back and checking the $12,100 level around the $12,000 level before it actually goes higher. So do so. Those people who are like, "Oh man, I'm gonna buy the breakout. I'm gonna buy it. It's going higher. It's going higher." You gotta be careful up here. This is this is uh, something that a little bit of a warning sign there that uh, that the market might turn around up up at the twelve thousand seven hundred. Should we blow past it? Then you're pretty safe. You're pretty much in the clear to the fourteen thousand dollar level. Um, we can see. Uh, let's just see if we can. Um, do some uh, trend line. Let's see here. Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah. So there you go. If we t take that trend line, upper trend line, you can see we're probably going to bounce off this fourteen thousand dollar level. Could could end up going a lot higher, all the way to the fifteen thousand two hundred level, depending on how long it takes to get there. Of course, I think this this trend line. Once we get up here, that's where you'll definitely see a rollover. So <laughs> consider yeah. that. Yeah. in your thesis when you're trying to uh, decide where to uh, to um, take profits should you you take a leverage trade 
uh, follow that trend line uh, very carefully. Look for any kind of divergence in the price, uh, any kind of, um, especially in the daily or on the on the four hour, and then we maybe take some profits off the table up here when we get up there. All right, that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So what you are saying is we have the twelve thousand seven hundred AB equals CD target here in let's say the immediate short term but then in case bitcoin breaks above that the longer it takes the higher we go basically because we have this upward sloping resistance line or trend line whatever and then you would say it would be between uh, among the lines of 14 15 15,500 us dollars where we get the next rejection and i think it is a very important um thing to consider that in every single bull cycle bitcoin faces these points of rejections i actually also could imagine that it is at 14 15,000 and um, everyone who's watching that right now please don't be surprised that at any point in the future it might be in a week in two weeks three weeks wherever it might be 13 14 15,000 when we are seeing this sharp rejection 30, 40, 45 percent retracements for Bitcoin are completely normal. They are completely natural and they are not at all invalidating a bull run. So um, please always think about that, even though that we have here more upside potential for Bitcoin in the immediate short term, expect a rejection to come at higher levels and then expect it to be sharp and expect it to be brutal. Um, so, yes, Da Vinci, uh, I wanted to put that out. And uh, now, please, the stage is yours once again. Okay, so looking for some trades. Well, of course, everybody's looking for a trade now that they probably missed the last trade that I mentioned. Hey, you know what? You should buy anywhere below the 12,100 uh, level, right? Stop loss of 10,500 approximately. Uh, a lot of people probably just ignored that that trade. Um, and uh, now we're like, uh, D, Mr. D, what do you got for me now? <laughs> well, I don't have anything strong, strong. Uh, the other trade was a lot stronger. But hey, you know what? Do we need to have a trade here? What you could do um, uh, going forward is, um, depending on how high this thing goes, um, you could start as uh, soon as we break about. Yeah, I think this is probably a good point where we could start to do the fibs here. And let me just zoom in for you guys to see that. Right, so uh, you guys are seeing that nice and clearly. And so what we can do is do the fibs here. And start with the 38.2. Now, if this thing goes higher, you have to draw your fibs a little bit higher, of course. But the 38.2, you can start nibbling in. 61.8, start nibbling in, and the 78.6, and stop loss at the um, at, at the bottom price of twelve thousand two hundred and twenty seven dollars mm -hmm. uh, to see if you can like carry that uh, ride the wave up to at least. The seven, the twelve thousand seven hundred dollar level. So if you average buy, if you let's just say we average buy this at the sixteen one point eight as is an as an, as an example, um, you can see that this is quite a big profit. Let's see here. Let's take that to there and all the way to the um, the two thousand seven hundred ish ish area. So uh, let's go 12,080. And so that's, that's a six to one risk to reward ratio. Definitely worth trying. Don't, no, no guarantees from the management if, you're going, if this thing breaks down a little bit further, but I think you have a good shot at um, this um, um, continuing higher and not breaking down through this stop loss. So it's worth, worth, worth a shot in the dark here. Not, 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 I can't guarantee anything though. Obviously, but a six six point one risk reward ratio looks promising to me. If it were to go down, well, the risk is very limited and the upside is very high. We are in this volatile um, move towards the upside, so um, I, I think this 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 might be a good trade. If I wouldn't have already taken a trade, um, another short term trade with higher leverage on Bybit below the twelve thousand one hundred, I might uh, might have taken this one. But um, yeah, everyone watching, let me know in the comments if you took one of my trades or if you maybe also took here one of da vinci's trades they all turned out to be profitable right now and it of course is always nice for us to to see you guys making gains to um, to see you guys making profits here also based on our videos and um, please share this joy with us and um yeah we can we can um 
have fun together. Thank you, Da Vinci, for that. And of course, we are not only talking about Bitcoin today. It was already mind blowing with these crazy numbers of 14, 15,000. But uh, many people are exposed in Ethereum. And if they are not, they want to be exposed in Ethereum with all the DeFi craze, uh, craze upcoming. So um, what is your take on Ethereum? Do you think we have more upside potential after we already went from 240 to 430 US dollars? Um, after we, we were actually bullish here at 240, do you think we can go higher? What would you be doing if you were standing on the sidelines and what is your trade right now? Well, uh, it's unbelievable, but uh, I really think the target for um, for uh, Ethereum is probably around $600, maybe, maybe a little bit less, right? Um, but man, this thing is just a monster. Um, I don't see, let's see here, there's, this, this, this trend line is just insane, no, not, I'm not even going to consider that one, but, um, but yeah, so I'm looking at, uh, at this and I'm thinking this trend line is where it loves to stay near it, it was staying ab ab above it for quite some time and I bet you any money that uh, Ethereum is going to break back above this, this trend line, wow. um, or at least right up. Right, um, all the way up to six hundred dollar level. Um, you can see this happening sometime before September or something like that. Unbelievable, just sick. Wait, so you are saying <laughs> you are saying we can hit six hundred or more dollars for Ethereum within the next one and a half month? Uh, within the next two weeks. <laughs> wow 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 all right i mean i mean wow if this happens man i'll jump in the pool i'm telling you again i will be jumping in the pool on camera if um like maybe with a salt or so um if this is going to happen da vinci so um how are you planning to play this well uh, the theorem is very volatile and you can easily get stopped out or even liquidated on this thing even with a 10x leverage right so or 5x leverage so you you need to be very very careful because a big a big five percent 20 percent is moves are, are very going to be common as it tries to get up here so i i would uh play with this with a little bit of caution um going down to the, the smaller time frames um, I, I would just take the W's wherever they show up. You can see there's a nice W on the four hour. I take this W, right, uh, which is just, um, you can see this one right here um, playing out. There we go. And we can see, I'm going to make this bigger. So right here, right here. Oops. That's your stop loss right at that, uh, at the 400 and uh, $12 so you can buy anywhere in this area and your this would be your this was the breakout trade of course you know this is why I don't like breakout trades because they make you work for it <laughs> they make you work yeah and so uh, then you're gonna take a two to one risk to reward ratio again no no guarantees for the management here and uh, you can see uh, 488 dollars mm. is your your uh, your target uh, take profit zone, where you could actually just take half on this baby and let the rest ride and see what happens, and then you can obviously set your um, stop loss for the rest at break even, uh, which is your entry point, the entry point of uh, 438, which will give you if you're buying it anywhere inside this red zone, which will give you a little bit of profit. To, uh, to to close out that trade. So yeah, it's worthwhile taking that uh, this this pretty pretty high risk trade. Um, but you know what? There's a W. It's you have to run when you see those Ws. You have to take them, especially in a bull market. Uh, not all of them play out as as planned, but the most of them do. Crazy, crazy. Thank you very much for um, for this insight. For Ethereum, if we see this in the next two weeks, man, it would be absolutely crazy. Everyone who is considering going into a leverage trade on Ethereum, be, please consider that Ethereum is much more volatile than Bitcoin. If you were to go into this trade on a 20x, then the stop loss would be already your liquidation price. So please, guys, please be very careful trading Ethereum here on leverage. If you do it, please know um, you have to 
know what you are doing you need to be an experienced trader otherwise um like i'm trading ethereum only every now and then and i'm holding here ethereum for the long run because i know that the future is probably very bright da vinci um before we are going into this altcoin um we talked about that before it is actually fundamentally one of my favorite altcoins i can tell that already um I wanted to show quickly here to the people, just to everyone who is interested, my trades here on Femex and on Udex. Here uh, on Femex and on Bybit, here you see my trade on uh, Femex. It's at $66,000 in profit. Not a lot of things changed here since yesterday, but here my trade on Bybit right now on $13,000 US dollars in profits. This one is on higher leverage, so I will be taking profits here rather sooner than later, guys. Very important. And if you consider going into a trade on a high leverage like this, please be very cautious, guys because you can get wiped out very very soon i was trading the breakout but other than that this could have been dangerous so if you scroll down please only use these links if you are an experienced trader bybit femex judex you get 502 dollars for free by clicking these links email address password and um, you can use the free bonus only let your own money there use the free bonus then withdraw your cash after this trade and um, i think that's a fair deal but even though it is a free bonus um please guys only do it if you're an experienced trader like honestly it's very important because otherwise you are betting your money and you are missing out on these moonshots when bitcoin goes up when ethereum goes up and this is certainly not what we want um da vinci before we go into ethereum uh, into into this altcoin um you you wanted to show a very funny video so um maybe maybe i just diminish my face and you show it to the audience you know you had to do the the leverage buy bit trade right i mean obviously <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, <you> obviously. Know. <laughs> when a good trade is unfolding, man, this news conference has to wait a little bit. So thanks, Da Vinci, for this. I think this is the perfect time to play clips like that. Um, it's just amazing to see these um, extraordinary things unfolding. Um, I was when I was talking about my favorite Alcon, I was not talking about BSV, which is popping up in the screen right now, obviously. So maybe we can pull up the Alcon we talked about, Da Vinci, before everyone is roasting me here. <laughs> Oh man, I scared. I probably scared a lot of people. <laughs> yes, my favorite altcoin. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, stop no. it! <laughs> Not XRP! <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun here. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I will take care of what I'm saying in the future. Yes, that's it. XMA Monero. And of course, I'm fundamentally, I really like it because it's a public permissionless proof of work blockchain with private transactions. It is a very early one. It has some grassroots fla uh, flavor um, included. So I really, really like Monero. Um, but um, obviously, we want to look at the technicals and obviously, we want to see um, is there a very nice setup unfolding since this one is, is still at the bottom here. Um, da Vinci, once again, the stage is yours. Please let us know how to play this game how to um how to trade this altcoin and where to take profits well i mean this this is a coin where you know it's beautiful because it, it's really low uh the price is bottomed here if we take a look at the uh, overall price history you can see oh my goodness this thing just ran up all kinds and it's down in the dumps we don't have a a beautiful W-ing action here, right? Uh, as we do, as we did, uh, we don't have a W in action over here as we did back in the past. So uh, there, were, there might be a little bit of time for this thing to cook, to shake and bake before it actually decides to go uh, a lot higher. So that's why it, I would suggest you uh, you uh, set your buy orders somewhere in the 61.8 to 78.6 level um, from this last topping um, point here. And I'm going to zoom in on that. Don't worry. So let's just zoom in on that and see where we can um, set our our our, uh, our buy order. So uh, I'm looking to to buy this thing at 61.8, maybe maybe a little bit higher, but um, that's okay. Anywhere in this level, honestly, you're buying anywhere down here, you're you're buying the bottoms. You're not buying tops here, right? So um, that's the way you want to. This is where you want to be. You want to be looking for coins that will give you the advantage, to give you the edge right so that you actually make profits in the coming bull run ahead now 
Um, of course, this might take a little bit of time, right? It's going to take some time for this to play out, this, this W to play out, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a, a few months. But, hey, you know what? Just patience always rewards um, in the end. So the 78.6, which is at, uh, what's that, six, six, uh, 687,000 uh, sats. Uh, also, uh, the se- uh, that's the 61.8, and the 7, 6, 7, 78.6 is also a good area, which is the 650,000 sats as well. Um, to, to buy this coin, because you can see there's a lot of wicks, a lot of um, moving down, but uh, uh, all the buyers are just buying this thing up near the bottom. So why don't you be one of those buyers who are buying this thing up near the bottom exactly. and uh, seeing if this thing will take, wait for this thing to take us to the moon? Well, one thing, Da Vinci, you are completely right. And let's say it takes two months, whatever. If you buy the Satoshi value and it goes sideways in the Satoshi value, Bitcoin goes up. Well, you make the same gains like you would have made it with Bitcoin in the first place. So um, we are looking at the XMR against Bitcoin chart. And even if this one goes sideways, well, it wouldn't be all too bad, even if Bitcoin goes up. Because um, yeah, right now we can see here during this whole run of Bitcoin towards the upside since March, Monero was going sideways. But in US dollar value, it increased more and more over time so uh, i think this one really looks like a very nice um potential bottom here i myself i hold monero i really like monero also fundamentally so it's of course always nice to to also be fundamentally convinced especially if this potential breakout needs uh, take some time what would be your price target for monero here uh, in case we are breaking out towards the upside for good well, um, as we can see, let's just uh, take this. You can see that there was a large run up, and uh, I really think this thing will has the potential because of the privacy uh, properties of it has the potential to break to new highs in price in bitcoins. Mm. Believe it or not, and what we can see. Um, is um, 61.8 is one of the areas so if you're buying down down here yeah you're gonna get at least one double off of your money if we get only do the 61.8 but if I'm correct and we do all the way up to this the the 1.618 uh, that's uh, that's almost a, a 10x move 10 banger priced in Bitcoin right Especially if you get it near the lows. Now right? imagine Bitcoin uh, you, doing you, a, another a, a 10x himself, like uh, until that point of time, that would be 100x in US dollar. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I really think that you have a good potential here with this coin being pushed up uh, to to new highs, and and that new high could be even as high as uh, two two x from here on the. Um, from with the extension so we're talking uh, a definite definite at any point do you buy uh down there a, a 10x right if we head up there so wow i mean uh big potential in this coin a lot of people are going to probably use this a lot of um a lot of politicians will use this coin <laughs> 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 not publicly though not publicly announced but um, yeah thank <laughs> no. you so much for that and Monero is like many many years old already it is really used a lot and um, not traded so much but of course we want to have some 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 use cases behind and it really has utility and um, I, I really like how it has this grassroots flavor and um, yeah Monero is really one of the crypto OGs out there when you consider buying a privacy altcoin um, there's maybe like Zcash dash but um yeah like it's not many of them out there so thank you da vinci for for these knowledge bombs this was a, certainly a very very interesting one everyone watching that if you want also more altcoins in the future we will always do bitcoin ta but if you want more altcoins we need your feedback we need more likes on the video once again four or five thousand likes and scroll down and leave your favorite altcoins in the comment section down below you know that we go into the comment section and we see what is the most upvoted altcoin comment so please guys give us this feedback and of course da vinci um sometimes i'm even getting asked about pandora's wallet um, that's why i'm asking you now please maybe do you have any any updates for pandora's wallet i know you're working day and night and there are updates flooding in like on a daily basis well we're working on a new website and uh, after we finish the website 
uh, we're going to give a, a big discount to all, everyone. Uh, so that, we're hoping to get that website done for the end of this month. So if you're interested in Pandora's wallet, uh, maybe you want to wait for the end of the month when we provide the when we uh, redo the website and, and get a huge discount. But if you really want to get in and uh, and figure out which coins I'm buying, see the coins, uh, how I'm uh, I trade and basically get get learn the little lady strategy with the, the rest of us. You could purchase one month, right? And then once the price goes down a little bit, you could actually add to your subscription later on. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And I saw you have hundreds of people in this group already. And I saw how excited the people are about it. You made crazy, crazy trades, many doubles, many four times trades. You saw on some altcoins, you already took half on a double three, four times. Um, it is absolutely crazy. And um, considering how cheap your group is, I don't know, man. May <laughs> I, I will not say anything. It is actually a very good value per money. So um, thanks for providing that for us as well. But uh, don't forget about Panama's wallet, guys. I certainly think it is a very nice product. It adds value to the world. You can trade um, on exchanges by holding your own <coughs> private keys, by not exposing your, your possession to, to, to the exchanges themselves. It is very valuable, uh, especially maybe any time in the future when the confiscation starts. So guys, please always um, keep this in mind. Thank you, Da Vinci. I will leave the link in the pinned comment down below. I will be leaving it down in the description down below as well, um, among all the other links, his channel and so on. So uh, make sure you click on these links. Thank you so much for that, Da Vinci. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Thank you everyone for your support that you always make so much noise for the YouTube algorithm. YouTube really recognizes that our channel has a lot of relevance and we are getting more and more views here only because of you thanks for the likes thanks for the shares thanks for the comments it really means a lot to me i know that you are the best crypto family and this is the reason why we are the fastest growing channel in crypto right now in the world so thank you so much for that i really appreciate that um, with that being said da vinci do you have any last words to share before we wrap up today's episode yes xmr buying xmr at this point is playing from a position of strength and you won't get wrecked don't get wrecked guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching it we will see each other very soon at the next one of mm crypto and as always guys as always click the subscription box right here and also click the bible tutorial which is popping up right there and as always guys as always bye bye <laughs>